Hello, welcome back to Amber's Chick Flicks. Today is day eight for these duck eggs. I'm just gonna start the candling. Okie dokie. All right, this is the front and fertile. You see how brightly it's still glowing in day eight. There's no development. This is definitely an infertile egg. This one is the one that had the blood ring. You still see some of it right there. And then a little bit up here. You see that? Now it's getting older, it's harder to see just because um, it's just dissipating. As I'm rotating the eggs, it just gets scattered about. It It's hard to tell on day 10 if it's had a blood ring early on. Okay. Now the fun part is my ones that are developing. This right here, this is where the duck it, the duck is forming. You can actually see it moving a little bit. It's very close to the circle. This one's really nice. You see the darkest spot? That's the eye. It is very nice looking. The veins are wonderful. There's a lot of veins in this one. Hey, you see how big the embryo is now? There's another one oh, right there is the center it's moving a little bit but this egg is a little bit dirty so probably can't really see it as well as I can but the air pockets are still pretty small but I expect that right now Here's the biggest egg I have. The blood veins are wonderful. And you see it getting darker and lighter. It's moving just a little bit. I really got to cover up that little light. But this egg is doing wonderful. This one's still on the slower side of development, but it's not becoming a blood ring quite yet. Um, yeah, it's still very nice with the blood veins. It's just not developing as fast as the other ones. It is still right there. I can still see the heart pumping. It's just not developing as fast as uh, the others. and. That's fine. And here's the last one. This one, actually, I can't really see the epicenter where the heart is. I knew this one was going to be an interesting one. I'm trying to find it. I 
actually I still can't find it even if I hold it close oh there it is right there I just saw the eye it's very hard to see but the veins are still really good but you can see um, this one's not glowing bright this one's very dark I mean compare that to the infertile egg you definitely get a sense that there's development in this even though you can't see much um, so if on day 10 I would never toss anything that looks like this even if it's developing a little slower I would not toss it the only ones I would ever toss are the ones that's glowing bright exactly like this I mean you can definitely tell and even the one that had a blood ring is still glowing pretty bright um another question I have gotten um is why do I put all my eggs together all my fertile eggs are on this side kind of clumped together and that is just based because I like to and on Tuesday I'm gonna be putting another two dozen eggs in here to raise the humidity um, but if you want to space them out you can but also think about something else that all these eggs right here the humidity is going to be a slight bit higher might just be one percent but it's going to be a little higher just because all these eggs are evaporating water now if you have them spaced out like more so over here where i can just space them out like that these eggs are going to not have as high of a humidity i mean it's just a slight change or a slight difference and it might not even be a lot but um right now i'm doing this because i am eventually gonna have a ton more eggs in here and i'm just used to it and i have all my fertile over here and all my infertile over here and my lone uh, blood ring right here and on Tuesday is the day when I'm gonna be tossing everything over here and my blood ring one and then I'm just gonna have a fresh batch of eggs along with the ones I'm gonna be candling every day and showing later on during the incubation I can show you um, how my other eggs are doing um, but yeah to me everything's just normal this is how I've always hatched um, though usually I have one of these full but this time I'm doing the dry hatching so I'm just spraying a little bit of water like that every time I rotate the eggs but that's all I'm doing and another note is every time I rotate the eggs, I do wash my hands. Every time. Um, whether it's I'm busy or if I just came home from work and I need to turn them, I wash my hands before I even start. Uh, I think that is a very good practice because you never know what type of bacteria is on your hands before you touch your eggs. And you don't want to take any chances and um yeah that's all there is today um follow comment like and uh i hope you enjoy my video thank you a lot bye